In chapter 12, we will look at DNA damage and repair mechanisms. So in this first section, we'll take a look at DNA mutations. Mutations are random changes that occur within the sequence of bases in DNA. They can be large scale, altering the structure of the chromosomes, or small scale, where they only alter a few or even a single base or nucleotide. Mutations can occur for many reasons. For example, DNA mutations can be caused by mistakes made by the DNA polymerase during replication. DNA mutations can also result through the replication of DNA that has been damaged by endogenous or exogenous agents. If a DNA polymerase encounters a damaged DNA base in the template DNA during replication, it may place a random nucleotide base across from the lesion. For example, an adenine-containing nucleotide will often be added across a lesion, regardless of what the correct match should be. This can lead to the formation of a transition or transversion mutation. A transition mutation is a point mutation that changes a purine nucleotide to another purine such as A to G or G to A, or a pyrimidine to another pyrimidine, such as C to T or T to C, whereas a transversion mutation refers to the substitution of a purine for a pyrimidine, such as an A to T or C, or a G to T or C mutation, or a pyrimidine to a purine, such as T to A or G, or C to A or G. Sometimes lesions can cause bases to be skipped during replication or cause extra nucleotides to be inserted into the backbone. DNA polymerase can also slip during the replication of regions of the DNA that have repeated sequences or large stretches repeating a single base. Larger lesions or crosslinks in the DNA during replications can lead to more catastrophic DNA damage, including DNA strand breaks. Mutations may also occur during the process of mitosis and meiosis when sister chromatids and or homologous chromosomes are being separated from one another. In nature, mutagenesis, or the process of generating DNA mutations, can lead to changes that are harmful or beneficial or have no effect. Harmful mutations can lead to cancer and various heritable diseases, but beneficial mutations are the driving force of evolution. When a mutation is caused by an environmental factor or a chemical agent, the agent is called a mutagen. Typical mutagens include chemicals, like those inhaled while smoking, and radiation, such as X-rays, ultraviolet light, and nuclear radiation. Different mutagens have a different modes of damaging DNA and will be discussed further in the next section. There are a wide variety of types of mutations. Two major categories of mutations are germline mutations and somatic mutations. Germline mutations occur in the gametes or the sex cells such as eggs and sperm. These mutations are especially significant because they can be transmitted to offspring and every cell in the offspring will then have that mutation. Somatic mutations, on the other hand, occur in other cells of the body. These mutations may have little effect on the organism because they are confined to just one cell and its daughter cells. Somatic mutations also cannot be passed on to offspring. However, sometimes somatic mutations do lead to disease states such as cancer. Chromosomal alterations are mutations that change chromosome structure or number. They occur when a section of the chromosome breaks off and rejoins incorrectly or does not rejoin at all. Thus, large-scale mutations in chromosome structure include amplifications, such as duplication, 
where repetition of a chromosomal segment or presence of an extra piece of chromosome that was a broken piece of another chromosome may be attached to a homologous or non-homologous chromosome so that some of the genes are present more than two times, leading to multiple copies of all chromosomal regions. This will effectively increase the dose or amount of proteins that a cell may have. Large-scale deletions can also occur, leading to the loss of all of the gene material within that location. Chromosomal rearrangements, such as translocations, which interchange genetic parts from non-homologous chromosomes, insertions, which will insert segments of one chromosome into another non-homologous chromosome, and inversions, which will invert or flip a section of a chromosome into the opposite orientation. There are also smaller mutations that only alter a single nucleotide or a small number of nucleotides within a localized region of the DNA. These are classified according to how the DNA molecule is altered. One type, a point mutation, affects a single base and most commonly occurs when one base is substituted or replaced by another. Mutations can also result from the addition of one or more bases, known as an insertion, or the removal of one or more bases, known as a deletion. As a consequence of the degeneracy of the genetic code, a point mutation will commonly result in the same amino acid being incorporated into the resulting polypeptide, despite the sequence change. This change would have little effect on the protein structure and is thus called a silent mutation. A missense mutation results in a different amino acid being incorporated into the resulting polypeptide. In this case, arginine is replacing the wild type lysine residue, and in this case, ethreonine is replacing the lysine. The arginine replacement is known as a conservative mutation because it's changing a basic amino acid to another basic amino acid. This change is likely to have less effect on the protein function than if you change it to a non-conservative base that has a dramatically different R group, such as the threonine, which is much smaller and polar, but does not have a basic residue like the starting lysine. So overall, the effect of the missense mutation depends on how chemically different the new amino acid is from the wild type. The location of the changed amino acid within the protein is also important. For example, if the changed amino acid is part of the enzyme's active site, or it greatly affects the shape of the enzyme, then the effect of the missense mutation may be significant. Many missense mutations results in proteins that are still functional, at least to some degree. Sometimes the effect of missense mutations may only be apparent under certain environmental conditions. Such missense mutations are called conditional mutations. Very rarely, a missense mutation may also be beneficial. Under the right environmental conditions, this type of mutation may give the organism that harbors it a selective advantage. Yet another type of point mutation is called the nonsense mutation. This converts a codon encoding amino acid or a sense codon, into a stop codon. Nonsense mutations result in the synthesis of proteins that are shorter than the wild type and typically not functional. Here's another look at a silent mutation. Silent mutations cause a change in the sequence of the DNA that does not result in a new amino acid being incorporated into a protein. You can see here the valine is still encoded for in the mutant protein, in the mutant sequence. Thus, there is no noticeable change in the protein sequence or its function. The missense mutation results when a single change in a nucleotide base also changes the amino acid that's encoded for in the protein sequence. However, the remainder of the protein downstream of the mutation is still the same. 
missense mutations may or may not affect the function of the protein depending on the importance of this residue for the correct folding or activity of the protein. And nonsense mutations result when a stop codon becomes encoded for where normally you would have an amino acid base being added. This results in a truncated protein and will often alter the function of the protein. Frame shift mutations are mutations that occur with the insertion or deletion of one or two nucleotides within the gene sequence. In this case, a deletion is shown. You can see that these two nucleotides have been removed from the sequence. And this removal alters every amino acid downstream of that mutation. This usually will completely alter the function of the protein. So why is it that the majority of mutations that occur within the genome have no effect? Recall the actual gene sequence only makes up a small percentage of the human genome. Thus, most mutations do not cause any deleterious effects to the organism. Some mutations may also have positive effects on the protein function. However, we do see cases where mutations do have a harmful effect and we will focus on diseases like cancer that are caused by harmful mutations and the types of damaging agents that lead to DNA mutations in the remainder of this chapter. We will also learn the many processes of DNA repair that are available to protect the genome from these harmful effects.